Hey, I'm Kev. Kev, Mr. Kerr, and welcome to GameStop Car Extreme, where today we'll be driving the vicious Formula V car, great small car, and we're going to be driving around the mod track, the Le Mas du Coz 2006 circuit in France, and it's a very lovely track as well. So firstly, let me show you around. So here we are in the pit lane, riven up on Formula V, about to go onto this around 3 kilometer long track, just under 2 miles long, with 11 tricky and challenging corners as oh well. nick on the left hand side there we've got some vintage cars and some lucky chaps talking about them and on the right hand side we've got a pickup truck fantasizing about a ferrari don't we all do that from time to time not be a pickup truck but fantasize about the ferraris as we've got the ambulance and fire crews here yeah just in case as i said there's a tricky track as someone said on the race department page for this mod track that is like the French Cordial Park and I couldn't agree more as it's got this undulation it's got these long sweeping corners as oh we rev it up out of the pit lane there it's got some tricky hairpins in the end of the lap it's even got a bank corner as you can see so it's got a bit of everything this short track and it really perfectly fits this Formula V which is not that powerful but it's just great fun to drive and this is a great fun circuit to drive in this car and I will link that Race to bump page in the description and comments below. And this circuit also reminds me of Bubble Motorsports Park in America with the picturesque setting where Bubble Mo Motorsports Park, like this circuit, was built on kind of private estate land, but Bubble Motorsports Park is now a public, you know, racing circuit and is on the Indy Car Series calendar in America. Well, this circuit's always been private, it's always been for private use, for track days, for driver training and it's built on this private estate and it was never used for racing, it's never homologated for racing, it's all about private use this circuit and you can see how beautiful it is in this mod version of it, it doesn't it doesn't live up to how beautiful it is in real life though, I think it doesn't do it justice, if you see photos of it it's just a wonderful looking circuit and uh, I think some information about this circuit in the description and comments below but as you can see we're at the restaurant corner where you can sit and eat and dine and overlook the circuit and see some racing That's that's fantastic to see but this circuit was first around in the early 60s so the 400 meter strip and then it kind of expanded itself into this version by 1967 and it was around for 40 years until it got closed in 2007 on safety grounds then it got reopened in 2009 but sadly it got closed permanently in 2011 due to safety grounds it needed some safety upgrades but it cost quite a lot and also the Bargignon family who built this circuit didn't seem it was necessary as, it, as I said it was never going to hold a race it was just private use track and so they didn't think it was necessary they had those works and so it sadly looks like this circuit will no longer be around after over 40 years of use but talking about the Bargignon family this circuit was created by Pierre Bargignon and he was a French industrialist born in 1931 made his fortune in leather in the 50s built this circuit in the 60s, it was a bit of a Bugatti and Jaguar fan I, I've read up I think and before he became a big Ferrari fan in the late 60s and became one of the premium Ferrari car collectors of the best special vintage car Ferraris around the world, he was perhaps the best collector of vintage Ferraris around the world in recent times, Has he had a number of cars, a couple of GTOs, he had a Le Mans winning car such as the 330p4, I believe that's an <laughs> right, I apologise for that we've got to make wrong there and you had just loads of vintage fries you could see at the museum at this circuit if you visited it with a few of the vintage fries but sadly he died in 2012 and so his son inherited the circuit inherited his business before then and it sadly doesn't look like this circuit will come back though but i'll link information about this circuit in the description and comments below if you want to read up about it and some pictures of this circuit as well and a jack the free f40 video around this track a fabulous looking video as well and fabulous nick and car to drive around this fabulous track but i hope you enjoyed the gameplay coming up i do apologize about texture flickering occasionally but snap for watching and i will see you next time